NASA sent a total of 12 astronauts to walk on the moon during six Apollo missions between 1969 and 1972. Each mission included a crew of three astronauts, with two landing on the moon's surface and one orbiting above. The Apollo missions marked a significant achievement in the history of space exploration. They demonstrated that humans were capable of traveling to the moon and paved the way for future missions to other planets and celestial bodies. To aid in scientific research, the Apollo missions allowed scientists to study the moon in great detail, providing new insights into its formation and history. The samples brought back from the moon also helped advance our understanding of the solar system. The Apollo program pushed the limits of technology and resulted in numerous technological advancements in areas such as rocketry, navigation, and material science. Many of these advancements have since been applied to other fields, such as medicine and transportation. Lastly, the Apollo missions were seen as a symbol of American strength and technological prowess during the Cold War. They helped boost national pride and cemented the United States' position as a world leader in science and technology. Overall, the Apollo missions were a significant milestone in human history, showcasing what is possible when we push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities. The following men are the only ones who have ever walked on the moon. Neil Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon on July 20, 1969, serving as the commander of NASA's Apollo 11 mission. The goal of the mission was to demonstrate the capability of the U.S. to achieve a major milestone in space exploration and to establish American dominance in the Cold War space race against the Soviet Union. Additionally, the mission had scientific objectives, including collecting samples of the moon's surface and conducting experiments in a lunar environment to learn more about our nearest celestial neighbor. Armstrong also served as a backup pilot for the Gemini 5 mission and as the commander for the Apollo 11 backup crew. He also served as the commander for the Apollo 13 mission simulator, which helped to train the astronauts who later went on the official mission. Overall, Armstrong's contributions to NASA and space exploration helped to advance our understanding of the universe and inspired generations of people to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. Armstrong died from complications following cardiovascular procedures. He underwent surgery to relieve blocked coronary arteries and passed away on August 25, 2012 at the age of 82. Buzz Aldrin is a renowned American astronaut who was part of the Apollo 11 mission. On July 20, 1969, Aldrin became the second person to ever set foot on the moon, right after Neil Armstrong. While on the moon, Aldrin conducted various scientific experiments and took part in a live television broadcast. His iconic photograph of his boot print on the lunar surface became an iconic image of the Apollo 11 mission. Aldrin was instrumental in developing the docking and rendezvous procedures that made it possible for spacecraft to connect in orbit. His career was highlighted by being honored with numerous awards and accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom and induction into the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Charles Pete Conrad Jr. was the commander of Apollo 12, which was launched four months after the Apollo 11 mission. He was the third person to walk on the moon and the first to use colorful language on the lunar surface. The Apollo 12 lunar module, named Intrepid, landed in the Oceanus Procellarum region of the moon on November 19, 1969. As the commander, Pete Conrad was responsible for the overall success of the mission. He was in charge of making critical decisions and ensuring that the mission objectives were met. Conrad's piloting skills were critical in the successful return of the Apollo 12 crew to Earth. During the mission, the lunar module's ascent stage engine failed to ignite properly, putting the crew's safety in jeopardy. Conrad was able to diagnose and fix the problem using a switch that had been accidentally flipped during an earlier procedure, and the crew was able to return safely to the command module and then back to Earth. Alan Bean was an American astronaut who was a member of the Apollo 12 mission to the moon in 1969. He served as a naval aviator before joining NASA in 1963 as a member of the third group of astronauts selected by the agency. On November 14, 1969, Bean set foot on the moon as the lunar module pilot of the Apollo 12 mission. 
Bean spent nearly eight hours on the lunar surface, conducting scientific experiments and exploring the terrain. Bean also took a number of photographs during the mission, including a now-famous image of Conrad standing next to the American flag on the lunar surface. After returning from the moon, Bean went on to serve as commander of the Skylab 3 mission in 1973, which was the second manned mission to the Skylab space station. Bean retired from NASA in 1981 and went on to become an artist, creating paintings that depicted his experiences as an astronaut. He passed away on May 26, 2018, at the age of 86. During the Apollo 14 mission, Alan Shepard served as the commander of the mission and was responsible for the success of the mission as a whole. He was also the first American astronaut to have previously been in space and then returned to space again, having flown the Mercury Redstone 3 mission in 1961. Shepard landed on the moon on January 31, 1971, aboard the Lunar Module Antares. Shepard famously hit two golf balls on the lunar surface using a makeshift club he had brought with him, which became a memorable moment of the mission. Shepard's participation in the Apollo 14 mission made him the fifth person and the oldest person to walk on the moon at the age of 47. His achievements as an astronaut and his contributions to space exploration will always be remembered and celebrated. Edgar Mitchell was an American astronaut and the sixth person to walk on the moon. He was a part of the Apollo 14 mission, which launched on January 31, 1971, and returned to Earth on February 9, 1971. During his time on the moon, Mitchell spent approximately nine hours conducting experiments and collecting samples of the lunar surface. He and his fellow astronaut, Alan Shepard, were able to complete two moonwalks, during which they installed scientific equipment and gathered rock and soil samples. One of Mitchell's most notable accomplishments during the mission was the establishment of the first lunar seismic station. This station was used to measure moonquakes and study the interior structure of the moon. After his time with NASA, Mitchell went on to become an advocate for space exploration and consciousness research. He founded the Institute of Noetic Sciences, which is dedicated to exploring the relationship between science and spirituality. Edgar Mitchell passed away on February 4, 2016, at the age of 85. David Scott was an American astronaut who walked on the moon as part of the Apollo 15 mission in 1971. Scott served as the commander of the mission, which was the fourth manned mission to land on the moon. On July 30, 1971, Scott and his lunar module pilot, James Irwin, landed on the moon's surface. During his time on the moon, Scott conducted three moonwalks, spending a total of 18 hours and 37 minutes outside the lunar module. Scott also conducted a number of scientific experiments on the moon, including a study of the moon's atmosphere and the deployment of a suite of instruments to measure the moon's seismic activity. Scott's mission was a significant achievement for the United States and helped to advance our understanding of the moon's geology and composition. It also paved the way for future missions to explore the moon and beyond. James Irwin was an American astronaut who was part of the Apollo 15 mission, serving as the Lunar Module Pilot, along with Commander David Scott and Command Module Pilot Alfred Warden. Irwin's time on the moon had a profound impact on him, and he later became an advocate for the exploration and study of the moon as a way to deepen our understanding of the universe and our place within it. He founded the High Flight Foundation, which was dedicated to promoting Christian values and conducting research into the effects of space travel on the human body. Irwin passed away in 1991 at the age of 61, but his legacy as one of the few humans to have walked on the moon lives on. John Young was an American astronaut who flew on the Apollo 16 mission in 1972. He landed on the moon with his crewmate, Charles Duke, on April 20, 1972. This was the fifth manned mission to the moon and the first to land in the lunar highlands. 
which provided geologists with a unique opportunity to study the moon's geological history. One of the most notable moments of the Apollo 16 mission was when John Young famously drove the lunar rover at speeds up to 11 miles per hour, which was a record at the time. Young also became the first person to fly in space six times, making him one of the most experienced astronauts in history. John Young passed away on January 5, 2018, at the age of 87. His death was a great loss to the space community, as he was one of the most experienced astronauts in history and had played a key role in many of NASA's most important missions. However, his legacy as a pioneer in space exploration lives on, and his contributions to the field will always be remembered and celebrated. Charles Duke was an astronaut and the lunar module pilot for the Apollo 16 mission, which was launched on April 16, 1972. During this mission, he became the youngest person to ever walk on the moon at the age of 36. Duke and his commander, John Young, spent three days on the lunar surface, during which time they conducted a variety of experiments and collected samples. Charles was responsible for operating the lunar roving vehicle over the course of the mission. Duke went on to work for NASA in various roles, including as the capsule communicator for the Apollo 11 mission, which meant he was the one who spoke to Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin during their historic moonwalk. Eugene Cernan was the last person to set foot on the moon in December 1972. He was the commander of the Apollo 17 mission. He drove the lunar rover for a total of 21 miles during his stay on the lunar surface, which is the longest distance covered by any vehicle on the moon. Cernan and Schmidt collected over 200 pounds of lunar samples during their three moonwalks. They also conducted several experiments, including measuring the moon's magnetic field and studying the geology of the landing site. After returning from the moon, Cernan became a private businessman and started his own aerospace consulting firm called the Cernan Company. The company provided consulting services on space exploration, marketing, and strategic planning. Cernan passed away on January 16, 2017, at the age of 82. He is remembered as a pioneer of space exploration and a hero to many. Harrison Schmidt was a member of the Apollo 17 mission, which was the final manned mission to the moon as part of NASA's Apollo program. Schmidt, a geologist and astronaut, became the first and only scientist to walk on the moon. Schmidt and his crewmates, Eugene Cernan and Ronald Evans, launched on December 7, 1972, and landed on the moon's taurus littrow Valley on December 11. Schmidt spent a total of 22 hours on the moon's surface, conducting experiments and collecting samples. During his time on the moon, Schmidt helped to uncover some of the mysteries of the moon's geology, including the discovery of orange-colored soil that was later determined to be the result of volcanic activity. Schmidt also took part in several memorable moments during the mission, including a Christmas Eve broadcast in which he read from the Book of Genesis. Overall, Schmidt's contribution to the Apollo 17 mission was significant, not only as a geologist, but also as one of the last people to ever walk on the moon. His contributions as a scientist and astronaut have also been recognized through the naming of several features on the Moon and Mars after him. <laughs>